Come on, man. Come on. Don't go out like no sucker. Oh. Hit him. Hit him. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what, what are you guys watching? Boxing? No, no. Jerry Springer. <laughs> Guess what, everybody? I just got the lead in the senior class play. Oh, baby, congratulations. <laughs> we are so proud of you. What play is it? Oh, it's a great one. It's called The Player Hater is My Homeboy. <laughs> a student in my homeroom wrote it. Is the director a student, too? Oh, no, no, no. It's the drama teacher, Mr. Worthington. Mm -hmm. He's really intense, but people say he's a misunderstood genius. Misunderstood genius? Isn't that a nice way of saying he's crazy? <laughs> well, before he cast me, he was crazy. But now that I'm the lead, he's a misunderstood genius. <laughs> class. We're sitting. We're being seated. We're all sat. All right. Today, our task is to cast the male lead in our play. He's handsome. He's articulate. He's suave. He's homeboy. He will be playing opposite Zaria, who will portray the part of the lovely and virtuous Laquisha. <laughs> all right. Where's my stage crew? Right here. Ah, oh, you're a man who loves the theater and wants nothing more than to make us look good up there. Not really. I just don't want to be up there on stage with Zaria. Okay. <laughs> All right, first up to read for the part of Homeboy is Deepak Patel. I was born to play Homeboy. <laughs> Places, everybody. And action. I hate him, I hate him. He calls himself Mac Daddy, but his Mac is whack. <laughs> Uh, no, thank you. Thank you. Next. That would be me. Oh, good, Gordon. Show me homeboy. Okay, but uh, first, allow me to get in the character. <laughs> okay. <sighs> <sighs> I hate him. I hate him. He calls himself Mac Daddy, but his Mac is wiggity wiggity whack. Wiggity wiggity whack. Homeboy doesn't say that. Oh, I, I took a little artistic license. Next. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. Hi, Nick. You sure have a lot of books there. Yeah, most of them are Monica. Remember Monica Johnson? She's in my class. Hi. Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. Hello, Monica. Hi, Monica. So, Dad, don't you and Mom have something else to do? I uh, don't know. No, we're fine. Wouldn't you be more comfortable somewhere else? You got something in your eye? Robert. You got something in your eye, too? Come on, Mr. Can't take a hand. Oh, oh, oh. OK, yeah, yeah OK. Yeah. Nice meeting you again, Monica. Bye, bye, Monica. Thanks. All right. <laughs> So, Monica, can I get you anything to drink? No, I'm fine. You sure are. <laughs> what? Uh, what I meant is, the real reason why I invited you over is because uh, ever since preschool, are you sure you're not thirsty? <laughs> like I told you before, I'm fine. Like I told you before, you sure are. <laughs> Monica, I really like you, and I wanted to know, would you be my girlfriend? Uh, Nicholas, I'm sorry, but you're not really my type. Mm, well, what is your type? Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, Nick, you wanna go play some ball? <laughs> Maybe later. I'm kind of busy right now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Who's your friend? Hi, I'm Monica, and you are? Leaving. I am? Yeah, man, you blocked my flow. 
Oh, my, my, my bad. Hey, listen, I'll catch up with y'all later. I'm gonna go serve the kids on the court. All right. Yeah. Now, that's the kind of guy I like. What do you mean? He's a roughneck. I like roughnecks. A roughneck, huh? So the paprika gives it a little bit of color. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of texture. Oh, Nick, 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 step lightly. Step lightly. I got a souffle in the oven. You hungry? Take a hit. <laughs> Cecil, could you excuse us? Why? So Uncle Kelly and I can have a man-to-man -man talk. Excuse me? <laughs> OK, boy-to-man talk. OK. But let's just keep it real around here. <laughs> so what's up, Nick? I'm having women problems. Ah, I see, that's my area of expertise. There is nobody that's had more women problems than I have. <laughs> but this girl doesn't like me. Why not? Because she only likes bad boys. She got a mama named Eureka Jenkins? Because them Jenkins girls are bad with a capital B, all 16 of them. No, her name's Monica, and she can run faster than every boy in the whole school, and she looks good doing it. Sounds just like Eureka. All she wanted was bad boys. Really? Mm -hmm. What did you do? I gave her what she wanted. I became a bad boy. Oh, you did? Ooh, Nick, 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 I was bad to the bones, huh? You know, started drinking milk right out of the carton. Skim, <laughs> low fat, half and half, didn't matter. <laughs> Go to the grocery store, hype, take a bite out of fruit, put it right back. Ooh, couldn't tell me nothing. Worst of all, take a shower, put my dirty drawers right back on. You were bad, Uncle Kelly? Mm-hmm, bad. And funky. Oh, thanks, Uncle Kelly. <laughs> You're welcome, Nick. Hey, this is all right, you know? We need to do these man-to-man -man talks a little more often, you know? Just between the menses. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. My souffle's ready. <laughs> all right, listen up. The part of homeboy requires some passion and intensity. I'm not feeling it. For goodness sake, show me some passion and intensity. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. He calls himself Mac Daddy, but his Mac is whack. Whoa. 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 You OK? Yeah. Next. I hate him. I hate him, baby. He calls himself Mac Daddy, but his Mac is whack. But homeboy, you don't. My bad. The rope slipped. Come on, TK. You messed up my line. Hey, I said I was sorry. Still, I can't even understand why you can't pull a curtain. Hey, listen, chill, Z. Hey, I pulled this curtain better than you can act. Uh, what? So now you're a critic? Hey, listen, you better check yourself, Z. All right? Don't be trying to put me down in front of your little acting friends. And in fact, if you want to act, why don't you act like you got some sense and get out my face? That's it. What's it? That is the passion and intensity I was looking for, TK. You are my homeboy. What? what? That's it. The play is complete. You two are the stars. And with the rewrites, when Laquisha kisses homeboy, it's going to be perfect. Kiss? I am not kissing him. And I'm not kissing her. I'd rather kiss Gordon. Well, now you're talking, Zarya. Without the kiss, the play doesn't work. Well, fine. You're just going to have to do it without me. True that. OK, if you two don't do the play, you get Fs. Man, like this is my first time getting an F. If you get an F in this class, TK, you don't graduate. Hey, I got to graduate. I'm in. I guess I'm in, too. All right, then it's settled. I'll see the two of you tomorrow at rehearsals. Laquisha, homeboy, this is going to be great. <laughs> Hey, this is Wag Z. Hey, what are we gonna do? Don't worry. We'll talk to mom and dad, and they'll get us out of this kiss. Get you out of it? I mean, Zarya, it's just acting, guys. Dad, I'm a good actress, but I'm not good enough to act like I like him. Mr. P, even if I said yes, I know my lips will say no, no, no. What is the big deal? It's not like you guys are brother and sister. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> Guys, it's not like you really have to kiss. You just have to do it for class. I've got an idea. Why don't you just make it a little peck on the cheek? I'll show you how to do it, Zarya. Thanks, Cece. Ooh, Zarya. You don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Cece, I'm not missing anything. And I wouldn't kiss him if my life depended on it. 
If your life depended on it? No! No! Mallory! Yes, Governor. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. She's here. Okay. What did the governor say? He'll pardon you under one condition. What? What? I'll do anything. You have to kiss that man. Puck a rub, baby. Oh! Oh, but well, I'll just stand there. Kill me! Oh, please, have a heart. In the name of humanity, pull a switch! Just kiss him. Just kiss him. Dad. Just kiss Dad. him. We'd have to kiss in front of the whole school, and I'd never live it down. Well, uh, what happens if you guys don't kiss? Well, we'll get an F for the semester. Honey, there is nothing we can do. It looks like you're gonna have to put your differences behind you and kiss. Chickens are yeah, sitting in the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. Hey, come here. <laughs> I don't know, Robert. I, I think we're taking this a little too lightly. They seem kind of upset. Honey, this is one time we we can't fix it. I mean, and besides, it's just a kiss. All I gotta do is this. <laughs> Hi, Nicholas, you didn't help the door open for me. You got a problem with that? You ain't trying to double talk me, are you? Oh, no, never, Nicholas. What did you call me? Oh, I mean, Big Daddy. You better recognize. <laughs> oh, Nick, thank you for beating up those seventh graders for me. You are so tough. Uh... Thank you for being there. You are truly my hero. Finally, someone who recognizes. Boy, Big Daddy, you've changed. Did you really hit the teacher in the back of the head with an eraser? She deserved it. Who she thinks she is trying to teach us how to read or write? <laughs> and now you're beating up seventh graders? You're bad. To the bone, baby. Oh, this is so sad. I'm <laughs> to pick something up for you. Boy, you bought me the new Will Smith CD? Who said I bought it? I jacked somebody for it. <laughs> you stole it? Yeah, how you like me now? Yo, Nicholas. You see my new Will Smith CD? You know I can't get my scrub on without it. I haven't seen it, Uncle Kelly. Uh. Well, if you see it or my rubber ducky, let me know. You jacked your own uncle? I jacked my mama. She had something I wanted. Here you go, baby. Thank you. No problem. All right, now this is the final scene. This is where you, Zaria, as Loquisha, have to make your final decision between Mac Daddy and Homeboy. Oh, okay, Mr. Worthington, um, as Mac Daddy, uh, uh, what's my motivation? If you don't shut up, you get an F. That's good enough for me. All right. <laughs> Places, everyone. And action. <laughs> Come on, Laquisha. You need to floss my way. You know I love you, girl. But what about all those hoochies I saw you with? Keisha, Tisha, Aisha, Rhodesia. <laughs> they, they was just little pennies. I'm in need of a fat dime. <laughs> Laquisha, he doesn't really love you. He's just a player. My love is true. Don't play it, hate. Participate. I've made up my mind, and I love homeboy. That's foul. I'm out of here. Yo, Toshiba, hold up. <laughs> Laquisha, do you really love me? More than anything in life. And now the two of you kiss. Stunt double! <laughs> Zaria, what is this? Oh, that's Yunetta. She's my stunt double. I figured she could stand in for me. Well, you figured wrong. Yunetta, uh, let the boy breathe. <laughs> hey, Yunetta took my gum. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just go back to just before the kiss, and this time, no body doubles. All right, places, everyone. And action! Do you really love me, Lucretia? More than anything in life. Now the two of you kiss. Well, cut! <laughs> What is the matter with you people? The play is tonight. If you do not shape up, you both get Fs, and we'll do the play again next year. Did you really talk to the principal like that? I sure did. Monica, I'm so bad, the teachers have to ask me permission to use the bathroom. <laughs> hey, you two. Oh, hi, Mom. Kelly, I am so sorry. I have looked all over the house, and I can't find your Will Smith CD anywhere. This is not good, Jerry. You know how I am about my shower music. <laughs> Till I find that CD, no soap or water will touch his body. It'll get funky I'll find in here. it. I'll find it. <laughs> you know, maybe I should just go to the store and buy another one. Wait a minute, Uncle Kelly. I know what happened to your CD. Oh, you do? Yeah, I took it. Oh. Well, when you borrow things, just let me know. I didn't borrow it, I stole it. Well, when you steal things, just, hmm? <laughs> you did? That's not like you, Nick. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did it to impress Monica. Oh, oh, mm, I see. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have told you my bad to the bone story, huh? Yeah, maybe I should be happy who I am. I'm sorry, Uncle Kelly. I'll never steal again. I know you won't. I know you won't. Mm. Now, where's my CD? <laughs> oh, it's at Monica's house. We'll go get it. All right. And if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare to get my scrub on. <laughs> you ain't got my rubber ducky, though, do you? I can't believe you just did that. You probably hate me by now. Ooh, what was that for? <laughs> because beating up seven sweaters is one thing. But telling a guy who looks like Mike Tyson you stole from him takes guts. <laughs> yeah, so you like me even though I'm not a rough neck? Yeah, Nick, I like you just the way you are. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, if you don't mind, could you still call me Big Daddy? <laughs> no. Maybe Little Papa? <laughs> no. Okay, let's go get the CD. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. So, Mommy, do you think they're gonna kiss? I hope so. An F could have hurt Zarya's grade point average. What about TK? I'll be happy if he gets any letter on his report card. <laughs> We're the players. Forget the daters. We get the girls from here to the Himalayas. <laughs> We're the haters. We're not the daters. Put something on your game. And it's see you later. <laughs> We're the players. <laughs> We're the haters. We're the players. <laughs> We're the haters. <laughs> and... Here comes Lakisha. We all want to date her. My name is Lakisha, L-A-Q-Isha. And this is my story. It's about a more. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Me too. This is terrible. How long to intermission? Kelly, sit down. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him. He calls himself Mac Daddy, but his Mac is whack. But, homeboy, you don't know Mac Daddy like I do. He's kind, considerate, sensitive. He's just fronting. <laughs> and I know you're not gonna let him play you like that. Lakeisha, I got to go. Homeboy! Homeboy! Oh! <laughs> Mac Daddy, how long have you been standing there? Long enough to hear my homeboy's a player hater. 
He's not a player hater. He just cares about me, Lakeisha. <laughs> Mac Daddy, homeboy told me the whole dealio on you. <laughs> Come on, Lakeisha. You need to floss my way. <laughs> you know I love you, baby. But what about all those hoochies I saw you with? Keisha, Tisha, Aisha, Rhodesha. <laughs> <laughs> they just little pennies. You see, I'm in need of a fat dime. <laughs> Lakeisha, he doesn't really love you. He's just a player. My love is true. Don't play hate. Participate. The only thing I hate is this play. <laughs> <laughs> I've made up my mind, and I love homeboy. That's foul. I'm out of here. Hold up, Toshiba. <laughs> Do you really love me, Laquisha? More than anything in life. Deepak, what are you doing? You're leaning against the curtain release. I'm sorry, okay? I told you I should have been home, boy. <laughs> They kiss? I don't know. I want my money back. What? <laughs> what? So what, what happened? They kiss or what? I don't know. That's something only they will know. Cece, the dentist is tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'll be sick tomorrow. <laughs> Honey, you don't have to be afraid of the dentist. It's fun. Right, guys? Oh, no, it's not funny at all. Right, guys? Oh, yeah, they got the nice view <laughs> Nice try. Uh, breakfast, honey? Oh, no, baby. I can't even look at that. My stomach is a little queasy. What's queasy? Queasy was the eighth dwarf. You never saw him in the movie because he was always throwing up in his dressing room. <laughs> honey, this is the second morning in a row you've been sick. Uh, shouldn't you go by the doctor's office? Well, maybe. I probably just need some fresh air. Come on, y'all. Let's go to school. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Okay, have a good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. What's up, guys? Hey, what's up? Okay, Bye. Good right. day. Bye, bye, hey. sweetie. Rob, I've got another great idea. <laughs> Did I miss the first great idea? <laughs> Come on, man. It's not like that. Well, you know I've been teaching at that school for troubled kids, right? Yeah. So how's it going? Tough, man. Tough. See, they need a role model. What if I got Nelson Mandela to come down and talk to him? Think you can get him? I, I hear he's doing Soul Train. I knew it'd be a long shot. That's why I told him you would come. Me? How could you tell him I would do that without even asking me? Easy. I said you'd come. And that was your great idea? Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me show you a great idea. What? What? Let what, what? Partner, let me tell you. <laughs> It's called the door. You open it and let people out. <laughs> and you close it. So that means you'll be there. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> hey, take that Soul Train thing for me, because I want to see Nelson go down the line. <laughs>
I'm sorry, man. High school's changed since I was a kid. I had to go through a metal detector, show ID, and that security guard patted me down three times. We don't have a security guard. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Look, man, the kids can't wait to meet you. They're all pumped up, all right? You ready? Let's do this. Okay. Okay, here he is! <laughs> okay, settle down. Don't crowd him, man. Let's give a big hand to Professor Robert Peterson! <laughs> See what I'm talking about, man? All righty then. Okay, that's a, that's a start. Um, uh, basically, I'm here to stress uh, how important it is to get a good education. A good education. Gee, you know, I never thought of that. Thanks, Professor. Say hi to Gilligan and Skipper. <laughs> now, shut up and sit down. Didn't I teach you anything? No. Well, sit down anyway. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about, man. How do you get through to these kids? Well, something's getting through to him. <laughs> then take this thing off. Who do you think you are, Warren G? <laughs> Too bad we're not rappers, man. That's the only thing that's getting through to these kids. Rappers? Say yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. Yeah. Well, check this out right about now. I'm going to introduce to you people here today my man, Scholarship Rick. Oh, yeah. If you're ready to learn, say yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready to learn, say yeah, yeah. yeah. You can graduate. Somebody say, oh yeah, yo. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, grab a book. Oh, grab a book and flash some knowledge. That's the only way to get to college. Oh yeah. Now give it up for the one, the only my G, the notorious PhD. Yeah. 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 ABC, grab the weight, and you can be like me. The Tory PhD got a degree <laughs> on the MIT, on the MIT. What's up, scholarship Rick? How you living, PhD? What's up, scholarship Rick? How you living, PhD? Let's show these kids how we do this thing. We say Edja, you say Kesha. Edja, Kesha. Chicken in the hamburger. <laughs> if you concentrate, you can graduate. If, if you, you concentrate, you can graduate. <laughs> if you concentrate, you can graduate. Oh, we, we say Edna, you say Kaysha. Edna, Kaysha. Edna, Kaysha. We say Edna, you say Kaysha. Edna, Kaysha. Edna, Kaysha. We say Edna, you say Kaysha. Ignore me, man. I, I, I'm sorry. We're not rappers. We just have to be who we are. Who are we? <laughs> We're teachers. Right, right, right. A, lo a lot of you think uh, just because I'm a professor that I can't relate. But I just want to say I know where you're coming from. I told you, he said. Get my five dollars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, son, what, what, what's your name? Ricky. You're from the projects, right? Yeah. Yeah, me too. My father left when I was eight years old. So I know what it's like to go without. Yeah, yeah, we know. You were raised on Hamburger Helper. No, no, we didn't have hamburger. All we had was helper. <laughs> we had Happy Meals before McDonald's. Any meal we got, we were happy. <laughs> 
What I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter where you come from. What matters is where you're going. How many of you truly feel if you worked hard, you could make something out of yourself? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. This young, this is the spirit right here. <laughs> Tell him what you want out of life, young man. I want to go to the bathroom. <laughs> what are you going to do, professor? I mean, tell us to go get one of those little jobs with the cute little paper hat. Man, I can make 10 times that on the street. Yeah, but most of that street money is going to go for bail, court costs, and funeral expenses. Yes, right. And we're looking, man, I want to work, man. I do, but ain't nobody going to hire me. Just like yesterday, I went in for a job. They practically slammed the door in my face. Like, I'm the only one that ever showed up with a 40 hours to a job interview. <laughs> You probably are the only one to show up to a job interview with a 40 ounce. <laughs> and look at the way you're dressed. Who's gonna hire you dressed like that? You look like a gangbanger. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so what do you want us to do, Professor? I mean, put on a tie and jacket and say, yes, sir, no, sir? That's a start. That's a start. I mean, to really succeed in life, you gotta dress for success. Well, I hope your one day of charity made you feel better, Professor. Excuse me, if I was doing this for charity, I'd give you all five bucks and go home. But I'm not gonna do that. But I am gonna do this. I'm gonna come back tomorrow and every day after that and teach you guys the skills you need to be successful. And we've heard that before. You want a commitment from me? I need a commitment from you. I'll come back, but tomorrow, everybody's got to be dressed in their best clothes, best attitudes, no 40s. <laughs> dress for success. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Hey, dress for success. <laughs> yeah. Michael! Hey, hello. The phone's ringing. Hey, you're getting pretty good at that noise identification thing. Very good. No, I want you to get it. It might be Calvin. I'm trying to avoid him. Oh, Zarya, please, I have some integrity. All right, I'm not going to crush the spirit of a fellow brother just to make some lame excuse for you. It's just not fair. You can have the last Twinkie. Who said life was fair? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Peterson. This is Dr. Monroe. I know you've been very nervous about your tests, and I'm sure you'll be happy to know that the results were positive. Call me for details. Hmm. I guess Mom went to the doctor this morning. And he said she'll be happy to know the results were positive. She's been tired and queasy in the morning. You know what this means? She's pregnant! Oh, I can't believe it. What, that she's gonna have another baby? No, that Mom and Dad still... You know. Come on, Cece. See, it's not that scary. What's that? The drills. Hey, you guys. Uh, what are you doing in here? Oh, we're just calming Cece down. You ready, Cece? Don't hurt. Cece, I thought you said you were gonna give the dentist a chance. I'm four. I'll say anything. Well, now, don't you want to have a bright, sparkly smile? Yeah. <laughs> Cece, why don't you and Nicholas relax over there, and I'll get in the chair, and the dentist can show you how easy it is, and she can work on me first. I'll go for that. Okay. See, I'm in the chair, and it's nice and comfortable. Ooh, this Corinthian leather. Yeah. yeah. So you open wide, Mr. Peterson. There's nothing I like better to do. <laughs> See how much fun it is? What did you say? See how it is? He has nothing to... Oh, oh. oh. Get it, you hurt? No, it tickles. <laughs> oh, Mr. Peterson, you have a pretty serious abscess in there. It requires immediate attention. Uh, you know, I, I can't do it today. Um, but my wife's going to be here any minute. You know, I, I promised these students that I'd, I'd be back to uh, teach them today, so I, I really can. Is Daddy scared? Dad scared? <laughs> Are you scared, Dad? 
No, of course not. Don't worry, Mr. Peterson. It should only take a few minutes. Oh, oh okay. If, if you could uh, make it quick, please. Well, it'll be over before you know it. And this will help you relax. Okay, Mr. Peterson, all done. Now, I had to give you some Novocaine so your mouth will feel numb for a few hours, and you also may feel a little woozy and giddy till the gas wears off, okay? Woozy, woozy. Woozy, woozy. Robert, are you okay? Walk, walk, you know. Mom, what's wrong with Daddy? Worry, worry. <laughs> It's nothing, baby. Daddy's just happy because he got all his teeth fixed. I want to be happy, too. I can't believe she bought it. Oh, Robert, guess what? I stopped by Dr. Monroe's. I got an A on my constitutional law exam. All right! <laughs> you know, baby, that's why my stomach was so queasy. I was worried about my test. Who's next? I am! Oh, Mr. Peterson, I'm sorry I took so long, but oh. I ran into some complications. Oh, well, 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 baby. <laughs> whoa, baby. Whoa, whoa, I'm late. Robert, you're not going anywhere in that condition. I, I gotta go back, huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> Are you hurt, baby? Well. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy always used to say, never, never, never pet a snake while he's eating. <laughs> Look at Mr. Wilcox, that's a good story. So uh, next time I see a cobra in the hood, I'll remember that one. <laughs> Man, you just stalling. Man, see, I knew your professor friend was gonna burn us, I knew it. And look at me, I'm sitting here with a tie on, and I ain't even in court. <laughs> now look. If Robert Peterson isn't here, it's for a good reason. Maybe he got a flat tire on his golf cart. <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. He only golfs on Saturdays. Let's keep it real, partner. I'll tell you what's real, partner. He ain't here, right? But he'll be here. But in the meantime, he still got me. <laughs> it's like my daddy used to say. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? How was the dentist? She was fine, I guess. I didn't ask her. <laughs> no, Nicholas, we're talking about your teeth. Oh, they're fine, too. Look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cece, how did you do today? I did great, but Dad really had fun. <laughs> Come on, Cece, let's get some jawbreakers. We don't have to go back for six months. <laughs> uh, hey, guys, where, where's Mom? She got the car bringing in some groceries. She's pregnant. She shouldn't be carrying heavy packages. Hey, Mom, I'll take that for you. Thanks. Okay. Come on. You need to get off your feet. Now, Mom, Zarya and I want you to know that we're going to be doing a lot more around the house to help you out. You know, like the dishes. Cooking, cleaning. All right, give it to me straight. What have you done, and do we have to move? Oh, Mom, <laughs> Dr. Monroe called with the test results. They were positive. Oh, uh -huh. you know, isn't it great? I couldn't wait, so I stopped by his office, and he told me the good news. Mom, we are so excited Ooh. about this. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate how hard I work to make this happen. Uh, well, we do have some idea, Mom. You know, I had to pull an all-nighter on this one. Well, you know, I know you kids do it, too, but at my age, it's a lot harder. Hey, whoa, whoa. whoa. Mom, what you and Dad do and however long it takes, that's none of our business. Your father? He doesn't get any credit for this. He slept through the whole thing. Mom, he just laid there snoring. I mean, sure, every now and then he'd wake up and say, are you done yet? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna need some therapy now. You know, let this be a lesson to the both of you. If I hadn't buckled down and studied hard, I never would have gotten an A on my constitutional law exam. Exam? It was a test. 
in school. Yeah, you said you got the results. <gasps> yeah, but see, we didn't know you got an A. We just oh. knew the results were positive, but we didn't know how positive. Oh. Well, you know, I can't thank you guys enough for promising to do all the extra housework around here. You can start with this kitchen floor. This day just keeps getting better and better. Hey, well, at least they're not, you know. <gasps> It's like my daddy always used to say. And look here, uh, sir, we, we about tired of your daddy. <laughs> Did your mom ever say anything? <laughs> well, man, we out of here. Yo, Mr. Wilcox, your boy, he ain't coming. Yeah, dress for success. Huh? Huh? Now, do I know my boy? I do I know my boy. And when he tell you why he's late, you'll be sorry you ever doubted this, brother. Tell him, Rob. <laughs> I, I went who went, because I had assets in my woof. Yeah, man, I, I think your boy a, a little drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I see how you do it, though. You, you, first you get the job, then you drink to 40. <laughs> I went to the west. See, he went to the women's. <laughs> I think he said the dentist. Are you trying to tell me I don't know my homeboys? Oh, oh yeah, right, right. He went to the dentist. That's why his mouth is numb. That's why he's talking funny. So why are your clothes all messed up? A little dog chased him. A big dog chased him. Hey, well, hey, 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 Whoa, whoa, we, we, whoa, whoa, we, whoa, 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 <laughs> He tripped over a curb and sent them a puddle and bumped into a construction worker who was gonna beat him down, but he went to high school with him and they talked about their friendship and then he dropped them off here. You white, you white, you white. <laughs> man, I ain't white, man, you are drunk. <laughs> wait, 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 so it's true about the dog, the puddle, and the construction worker and all that? Uh-huh. I mean, you went through all of that just to come down here and talk to us? Uh-huh. He said, uh -huh. And so maybe we had you all wrong. No kidding, you had him all wrong. He had a million reasons not to show up here today, but he did. You want to know why? You want to know why? Tell him, Rob. We was? I get why we're. Because he gave us worms. <laughs> no, we won't. My word, my word. He, he's saying he gave his word. Yeah, that makes sense, too. <laughs> well, I guess if he kept his word, yo, then we can keep ours, right? Wes for Wes. Dress for distress. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but if he said it, it's got to be deep. Go where won't dress for what West. He said dress for success. It's like my daddy used to say. Hey, yo, hey, yo. What is a PhD? I think somebody pays me. Oh, I hope it's not your burger law bringer. It's Jimmy Craig calling me. It's Jimmy Craig calling me. Are you still on that program? Yes, I am. Trying to lose 200 grams. <laughs> Let's go get some. Oh, that's where the smoke comes from. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just smoke in school. <laughs> Yo, Z. What you doing? Reading. Uh, my parents were right. I think we need to communicate better. You want me to talk louder? <laughs> no, I just think that we should talk for a while, you know, with each other. What you want to talk about? I don't know. What do you want to talk about? Uh, sports. Hey, did you see the game yesterday? No. 
So, uh, you like music? You, you like boys to men? Yeah, <laughs> not really. Uh, so, what do you think about Saddam Hussein? Oh, I don't really listen to his music. Hmm. <laughs> so? So? Um, what do you think about school? I don't even think about school, really. What you think about school? Well, I like it. I guess. <laughs> so how long you think we've been talking, see? About a minute and a half. So what you think? I think we've been talking long enough. <laughs> Where's your sister Celeste coming? Because me and Rob trying to get to the Knicks game. Wendell, don't worry. Celeste will be here any moment. It'll be good to see her. I can't believe she's been living in Italy for three years. I wonder if she still has those big old teeth. <laughs> I mean, her teeth were so big, she could take a bite out of crying. <laughs> Wendell, please, no jokes about Celeste. Yeah, she's still sensitive. Chill out. You know, I can't tell you how many times she came home from school crying because of what you said to her. All right, no more teeth jokes. But her feet? Window, window. No, 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 no. I'm talking about her feet were so big, when she bought the shoes, she just wear the boxes. Window, listen, this isn't high school anymore. This is my sister. I want everyone to show her some respect. I heard that. Right, Window? All right. That's her now. She probably rang that doorbell with a big toe. <laughs> Celeste? Huh? Look at you! Oh, gorgeous! Celeste, you look beautiful. <laughs> I guess when you're a fashion photographer, you learn a few beauty tricks. <laughs> Mr. Wendell Wilcox, do I still look like Jimmy Walker with a weave? No. You're very beautiful. That's not what you used to say. What I used to say? You said that I was so skinny I could use a wristband as a tube top. Rob said that. Well, you did. I mean, but, but I meant that in the nicest way. Yeah. Uh, Wendell, come on, let's get to that game. What game? <clears throat> the Nick game. Ooh, the Knicks. <laughs> oh, the Knicks, yeah. Um, I guess I'll bump into you because I'm over here periodically. <laughs> That's a big word, periodically. <laughs> Oh, I miss you so, so much. Gorgeous. Oh, is that Nick and Cece? You both got so big. And your teeth got so little. <laughs> no, no. What my sister means is your head kind of with your teeth. <laughs> I know what you both mean, and I take it as a compliment. Zaria, <laughs> you've gotten to be such a beautiful young lady. Mm. Aunt Celeste, you know, I have so many questions to ask you because I want to be a fashion photographer, too. You do? Yeah, either that or a model. Or maybe I could be both. That way I could take pictures of myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be awfully busy. Oh, now you must be TK. Now, I heard a lot about you. Hey, hold on. That was my brother on Cops. They tried to pin that on me. <laughs> Take all this stuff.
stuff from around the house and build a robot for the science fair. If we help you in the science fair, what do we get? You guys get a real cool, shiny blue ribbon that says first place. What do you get? Some stupid old hundred dollar gift certificate. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hey, guys. Hey, TK. Are you ready to help on my science project? Hey, man, I ain't got nothing to do with the projects. I left there a long time ago. <laughs> but TK, you promised to help. I just said that to get you out the bathroom. <laughs> Jesse's sister's going to be helping. So why you need me for? <laughs> hey, Jesse, your sister's here. Hi, guys. So you ready to build that robot? Hey, we sure are. <laughs> How you doing? I'm TK. And I'm Vivica, but I really don't know much about robots. Hey, that's okay. I do. R2-D2, Robocop, Robotussin. <laughs> <laughs> I know all the robots. Hey, TK, I thought you were too busy for us. Busy? Oh, man, I got all the time in the world for you guys. So, so, so what, what we got here? <laughs> honey, honey, you spent this much on lingerie? I can take it back. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Where's Celeste? Upstairs getting dressed. She say anything about me? Uh, yeah, she said it was good seeing you again. I think she's trying to get with me. <laughs> hey, Wendell. I was just about to call you. <laughs> hey, I need to go down to the fashion center. You think you can give me a ride? Yeah, you want to take the Benz or the Lexus? <laughs> the Benz. You got one? <laughs> I'm just playing. Come on, girl, I'll take it. Good. <laughs> then we can catch up on old times. Oh, like when you put my picture up in the cafeteria? I did that? Yeah, it was next to a can that said a penny a day can save this girl. <laughs> we made $8 and people cared about you. Bye, Jerry. Bye. 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 Mm. Wendell's really got it bad for Celeste. No, I think Celeste has got it bad for Wendell. Oh, what are you talking about? Did you see the way he jumped to take her? Did you see the way she asked? I want you to take me to the design center. <laughs> Give me a ride. <laughs> she didn't say it like that. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. It must run in your family. Because you used to jack me hard like that. <laughs> I did not. Honey, you, you did. I'm taking back that lingerie. You didn't jack me that hard. <laughs> This mess! Man, we're never gonna win the science fair. If this was a junk fair, we'd win it. <laughs> TK. TK, what are you doing over there? Hitting on my sister. What y'all want now? How would you make a nose for a robot? He's a robot. He don't need to smell nothing. <laughs> What'd you say? You, you like clubbing? Oh, yeah, I like to dance. Oh, yeah? Uh -oh. TK! TK! What you want now? What? Should the robot have wheels or feet? Yes. <laughs> oh, hi, Vivica. Uh, hey, Zaria. Isn't TK supposed to be helping? He is. He's helping himself to my sister. Hey, hold up, man. I did as much as work as you guys did on this uh, airplane. It's a robot. See, that's the problem. We're not communicating. TK, you promised you would help them. All right, Zara, you right. Come on, y'all. Let's start working on this train here. <laughs> like trains? Oh, yeah, I like trains. Oh, then we on the same track, then. <laughs> Three, four, five, one thousand one, one thousand two. Robert, have you seen Celeste? Uh, she's out of a window. Again? Don't you think it's strange them spending so much time together? Not at all. I mean, I know your sister's fine, but uh, Wendell's got game. <laughs> yeah, but she's so worldly and glamorous and, and sophisticated. And... and Wendell, he's... I see your point. <laughs> Introducing the next fine male supermodel of the world, 
Wendell got it going on, Wilcox. <laughs> He's got the walk. <laughs> oh, no, modeling's changed over the years. They come in all shapes and sizes. Celeste said I can be a supermodel. <laughs> you? <laughs> a supermodel? That's it, that's it, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. And he's very photogenic. The camera just loves him. <laughs> you take great pictures, Celeste. <laughs> well, I'm only as good as my subject matter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have to put those away in my portfolio. Come on, I want to show it to you. Sure. Oh, gosh, these are great. <laughs> Wendell, what's going on with you and Celeste? You hated each other in high school, and now you two are hanging out? A brother can't grow, can't change? Well, I guess the two of you have changed. Rob, she's funny, she's fine. Best of all, she doesn't hold a grudge. <laughs> Think she could be the one for me, man. Man, I'm glad you two worked it out. You want to go get something to eat? Nah, if I'm going to be a supermodel, I got to watch my figure. <laughs> what are you going to eat now that you're going to be a supermodel? Probably celery and... Rice cakes, salads. But we can stop by the rib joint on the way. Because <laughs> Jenny Craig been paging me all week. Oh, Celeste, girl, I always forget how talented you are. Oh, thank you, sis. Woo! You shot five whole rolls of window. Hey, it's me, your sister. What's up? What's going on? Hmm? Nothing. Celeste. <sighs> Jerry. As soon as I saw Wendell again, all the hurt came back. The, the jokes, the insults. I used to hate to go to school because of him. So what are you saying? I'm saying that it's my turn to do the hurting. I have a friend that's throwing this fashion show tonight, and I'm gonna make sure that Wendell, the supermodel, makes a complete fool of himself. I can't believe you've been holding on to this all these years. Believe it. It didn't happen to you, it happened to me. Wendell is our friend. You can't do this. Oh, I can't. Just watch me, Celeste. Celeste! Celeste! <laughs> Hey, honey, what you doing? Robert, this is terrible. Celeste doesn't like Wendell at all. She doesn't? No, she hates him. She's going to embarrass him tonight. Where's, where's Wendell? Uh, he's going to meet her down at the fashion show. Oh, no, we've got to get down there. Tonight, I like to present our science project. Ricky the Recycle Robot! <laughs> this is a sad day for science. <laughs> I guess I can kiss my $100 gift certificate goodbye. You were gonna get a $100 gift certificate? What is a gift certificate? It's the same thing as money. And we were just 
going to get a ribbon. <laughs> Ricky the robot meets Cece the sucker. <laughs> this is all TK's fault. He didn't help us on any of this. Well, what was your robot supposed to do? I don't know, but it does nothing now. <laughs> it's a robot. Guys, where is TK anyway? Running around with my fast sister. <laughs> He was supposed to be getting us some solar batteries. Well, guys, tell you what. I'll help you fix the robot. You will, Zarya? Yeah. And after that, we can fix TK. Don't forget my sister. She needs fixing, too. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? Well, m my sister's in there. I need to talk to her. What's your name? Um, Peterson. 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 Not on the list. Uh, G Giorgio. No. Federico. <laughs> Look, pal, you're not on the list. Get lost. Uh, can we talk That's about it. this? No, no discussion. No, Get lost. That's it. No, thank you. Well, maybe... If he wasn't that tall, I would have kicked his. <laughs> maybe, maybe they haven't arrived yet. I'm going to go check out for him, okay? Okay. Hey, guys, what's going on? Glad to see you made it. Right this way. Hey, Belle, get dressed. You guys are on stage in two minutes. Watch closely, Wendell. When the male models come out, I want you to study their technique. What technique? They walk down there, they turn, give a little this, give a little that. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way, because I'm going to put you up on that stage tonight. Me? Well, you'll be fine. You're natural. After tonight, everyone here is going to know who you are. These models are finished. I'm gonna have you introduced. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> Wait. It's me, Ron. What are you doing? What are you doing, just like Buffy, man? Wendell Celeste is trying to play you. Huh? She's trying. Meet me backstage, and I'll tell you about it. What? Why are you dressed like aluminum foil wrap, man? Ready to make a big splash in the fashion world? Yeah, but first, uh, I gotta get something off my chest, Celeste. What is it? I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I treated you in high school. I always felt bad about it. You have? Yeah, I was wrong. So then why did you do it? I guess it was my way of saying I liked you. I mean... I was a kid, I mean, you know, I didn't know how to talk to a woman. I never expected this. I don't know what to say. Just say you accept my apology. Robot, hey, I told you I was coming through. Is this guy for real? <laughs> TK, why don't you touch the mouth? Hey, what you need me to do? Just push that button. What, this one right here? Letter it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a lie! Hey, why'd y'all do that? <laughs> they taught you a lesson. You used us to hang out with Vivica, and that was wrong. Man, I can't even believe y'all would even think that. This guy is killing me! <laughs> All right, all right, y'all got me. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to y'all. Now, let's see if we can make this robot talk. Wow! Hey, where's my sister? 
Uh, uh, she, uh, she had to do some studying or something like that. She took off with another dude, didn't she? Yeah. Told you she was fast. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could have gotten in there, Robert. Maybe I could have talked some sense into my sister. I was so close. I tried to warn Wendell, and then they kicked me out. I don't know how they figured out I wasn't a runway model. <laughs> Poor guy, he's gonna be so crushed. <laughs> so you gonna embarrass me in front of all those people, girl? <laughs> I sure was. I guess I deserved it. No, Wendell, nobody deserves to be humiliated. Can somebody tell me what's going on here? What happened? Well, I apologize to Celeste for saying all those things in high school, and she forgave me. You were right, sis. I almost did something that was really stupid. Oh, I'm so happy for the both of you. So am I. Rob, there's one thing, though. I was watching you go down that runway. You need to work on your turns, because when you was walking, you was all stiff like this. You need to loosen up. You need to, you need to free yourself. You need to... <laughs> Rob, she's funny. She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she still has those big old teeth. We used to call her he gaw because she was all in this room. <laughs> Wendell, please, please. No jokes about Celeste. You want to say that? <laughs> Shut up! Yeah, <laughs>